Thank you very much for joining us here this evening, Parkgate Leisure. Please give us a thumbs up or comment on our videos. I'm hoping this isn't your first time here, um, but this is uh, basically a, a, an operational video for an Eldis Sun Tour. Uh, this is the 200 model, so quite a compact model. And basically what we're going to do this evening is just go around the van and show you some of the basic operating uh, procedures for this van. So it's not mega in depth. Uh, I'm sure there's lots of things that uh, people want, might want to know more about. Um, but uh, this is just to, to get you away if you've got one of these vans or this is actually for one of my customers who's bought this but uh, it seems other people like to look at them as well. So first thing we've come across here is the cassette loo. There's your toilet cassette. This is your filling point. So that's uh, in there would go water and pink for um, making your toilet smell nice when you flush it. Little button at the back there on this cassette because this whole thing comes out. So you pull the cassette out. Remember there's a little yellow handle there that secures it in. So release it with that, pull it out, trog off and find a suitable place to empty it. Unscrew this, take it off, careful to make sure it's level whilst you're doing that or stuff will start to run out. And once you're tipping, you can press that little yellow button down which lets air in and hopefully stops it glugging and splash. Uh, and do remember to clip that back in properly when you're done or the contents of your loo won't all go into the cassette. Not a pleasant job to have to deal with. Anyway, lots more videos about cassettes and toilets if you're that way inclined, but we've covered enough there today. Um, fresh water, so hose pipe, get the cap off, fill that up with fresh water. Um, there is kind of connected to that a little 12 volt outlet here that nobody ever uses. Now that is if you do have a penchant for filling from a water butt and you've got some sort of caravanning fetish then uh, you might use that but I don't think I've ever come across anyone who has. Uh, but there is your 12 volt supply for putting a water pump on if you wanted to. Next up is this little gadget here underneath that cap. Again very rarely used if you're on a super pitch somewhere where you've got TV piped to your actual pitch then you can plug a cable into there, cable into your outlet on your pitch and you will have access to all the TV channels that the, uh, the campsite has to offer. Again, not something I know anyone who's ever used really. Um, anyway, next locker. This is your battery. Obviously it's got little pipes in there, etc. It's uh, an external box really. That's where you plug in, that's where your little cable would, would hang down. Once you'd plugged it in, make sure it's locked and there you go. Uh, gas locker, so room in there for two bottles, fixed head regulator, you've got your, your cable in there ready to go, a little spanner, but you will need to get a couple of bottles. Um, that's set up for propane. So moving around the back of the van, you might have spotted, we've got a TV aerial on the top there, there's also a solar, don't need to do anything with the solar, it looks after itself. Uh, this bit here, simply a cover, for your um, water heater. So that cover does need to be removed when you're using the water heater. You don't need to put it on and off every time you use it. Take it off, go on holiday, put it on when you get back. You don't need to put it on every time you travel or move the van, etc. Um, moving around here, this is a gas outlet. So um, if you're gonna use gas barbecues, patio heaters, stuff like that, there's somewhere you can plug it in. Hanging down on the floor there underneath is your grey water waste outlet. So this pipe, you'd simply turn that on, that would drain it out. Up the back of here is a is a clip that with probably easier with two hands. And it does actually go up and just clip in there. That's your wastewater. A couple of fridge vents. Uh, you've got your wind out canopy here. That you simply put the handle in the end there, wind it a short distance, get the legs out as soon as you can, give it some support, then wind it out the rest of the way. Final thing before we climb aboard, you do have a, a fly screen with a little pullover, pullover cover and a little turnbuckle to hold it in place. So climbing into the van, we're going to go straight to the control panel at the back here. Um, this is really quite a simple control panel. The only scary bit is this button here. 
you can set your electric to run on auxiliary which is the leisure battery or vehicle which is the cab battery run it on vehicle at your peril if you run that flat you're going nowhere in the morning so really it wants to be left on auxiliary always or turned off so you can probably see there's lights there flicking on and off as I choose a supply. Next one is your water, that simply tells you what your water level is. So we've left this van with about a quarter of a tank in after testing, time of year it's not going to freeze up. That's your water pump. So with that on, the water will run out the taps, with it off it won't, simple as that. Um, just here you've got um, for your electric heating, which is just here, so you would select one two or three that's your thermostat for the room and your electric heat element inside this fire here will come on your electric heating will only work on 240 volts fairly obvious but we do have to say just in case so that's where you turn the electric on that's where the heat would come out and if you wanted to run it on gas as well or instead of you'd spin that round hold it down click 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 the way it goes i'm sorry not click click, click. there's the ignition button there is a little spy hole to help you see if it's lit and away you go. So you can have that billowing out gas, billowing out electric heat and you've also got a blown air on this side. So you can turn it on with that, that's automatic on that side. And that's the speed of the blower and that basically pulls the heat off the back of this and blows it out of these little vents that are dotted around the van. One over there another one in your in your bathroom just there we'll come to the bathroom in a minute though um, so those are your, are your basics in there you've got some trip switches in here for your mains so if you're finding stuff's not working do check your trip switches and just down here well it doesn't look like it's in there but that is a, a little service hatch that hopefully you'll never need yeah, but under these seats you'll find a couple more bits. You've got a gas tap there for independently turning stuff off. There's your, your solar regulator. Again, you don't need to do anything with that. It just does its thing quite happily without any need for interference. Uh, gas hob. I'm sure you guys can operate those. So your fridge. Um, fairly simple fridge this one. You've got electric on this side. You've got 12 volts on that switch. 240 on this one obviously 240 will only work when you're plugged into mains 12 volts will only work when the engine's running and on this side you've got your your gas so you would turn it on press the igniter this little switch by the way you've got two holes there there's a spy hole at the back to see when it's lit two little holes there so that you can actually lock your fridge open um, so that's fridge operation um, I think that's pretty much it guys um, blinds I guess just need to be careful you've got fly screens which are either all the way down or all the way up your blackout blinds will clip at multi place multi points um, your windows on this particular van your catches are just pull ones but your, your stays are a hydraulic stay so you can wind these to make them stay open they've been set on this so that you can just pull it shut they're not the click type um, there you go obviously we've got lights here I'm sure you can operate those um, oh yeah toilet knew there was one last thing so your shower is this shower head here your toilet doesn't look like there's much knee space but it's a swivel top so plenty of room there your black disc is, opens and closes with this that disc is actually the top of the cassette and your flush operates with that I think uh, I think that's pretty much all of it obviously we've got don't need to do anything with those we've checked them as part of our check and rebatteried them there you go service book on the seat this van's ready to go uh, only one of you watching this it'll be yours so for all of those who is it isn't, give us a ring and sort yourself out with a new van. Come and see us at Parkgate Leisure. Thank you very much.